Welcome back, Bustles Arcade. We are starting another project here. This one's uh, kind of interesting. Um, it's kind of in pieces right now. But uh, as you can see, it's a twin Cobra. If you're not familiar, it's a helicopter game. It's kind of like 1943 but with helicopters. It's pretty cool. So, um, it's actually in a Pango cabinet, and uh, we'll have a look at that here in a little bit. But uh, right now, it's just kind of the introduction of this control panel, which of course we're going to completely overhaul. You will not recognize it later, but I wanted you to see where we were starting. All these extra holes, some custom work there. I mean, this thing is a mess. Unacceptable for the Fussel Arcade. But we're gonna fix it. Let's have a look at that, uh, the back side here. These are kind of cool because uh, these little jobs right here hold the uh, panel on to the cabinet. This is a Sega cabinet, actually, who made this. And uh, you just, you can just remove the whole panel real easily. Uh, there was no quick disconnect, so uh, I quick disconnected it with a pair of cutters. We're going to redo all this anyway. A couple of original Wiccos here. Um, yeah, those are probably uh, workable. We can probably use those. We're going to, that's kind of my tentative plan is to take them apart and clean them and see, you know, they're probably okay. Few buttons here we probably use so yeah that's kind of what we're starting with I mean this baby is custom but uh, yeah wanted you to see it and remember how maggoted this is because when we're done with it it's going to look awesome. Right now, not awesome. Later, awesome. Because that's how we roll the Fussel Arcade. All right, there it is. So uh, this is uh, the intro. So stay tuned and we'll uh, navigate uh, through it. It's going to be fun. See you in a bit. So really the first step is to uh, tear it all apart and uh, took the first joystick out <clears throat> and it's got some broken parts internally. It's it's like flopping in the breeze loosey goosey. But this was inside the joystick. <laughs> a quarter. It was up inside of here. Yeah, it's like man. No surprise with holes like that. And they really made an abortion out of this thing. So we're gonna tear the rest of them apart and then we'll have another look at it. Hmm. Huh. Phew. Man. That's uh, the grommet. You hear, uh, you hear a lot of talk about grommets. And, uh, that is completely broken inside of there. If you can easily see, that ain't going to work. And it's, it's a mess. That's what happens. A lot of wear and tear over the years. So there you go. Take a little deeper. <laughs> Man, there's all the um, the guts off the control panel. We stripped her. Um, it, it, it's not pretty. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use anything in here. There's nothing. There's not hardly one thing that's correct. I mean, they got stuff in here. The wrong buttons. They're way too long. I mean, this Mickey Mouse monkey dick. I don't even know what to say. It's 
not how I roll, people. I don't roll like that. <clears throat> so it's going to have to be all new, I think. This is going to be our one-player start button. That's cool. Two-player start button. That'll be cool. We can use that hole right here for one of the joysticks. And we can use this hole right here for another one. And then we've got firing bomb button here, or firing a bomb button here. So we can use that, but we've got, we've got this hole in the middle. This was like the original joystick hole right here for the Pengo. Yeah, so we're gonna have to, I've got a, I've got a technique that I do. Um, I've done it before and uh, I think we're going to do it on this. And uh, the results, uh, it's a lot of work, but you know, I don't have access to a, a welder. So we could weld those holes up and, and grind everything down. That would be, that in the perfect world, that's what we would do. Uh, but I can't really do that. So, uh, We've got another, we've got another way that we can do it. And uh, after we put the control panel overlay on there, no one will ever know. In fact, if you look at that control panel right there, you'll never believe what's underneath there. So, but we're going to, I'll show you uh, when we get to that. But it, uh, it's, uh, it'll work. It'll be okay. It'll be all right. But, you know, it's kind of sad to see what happens to some of these machines and how, how much lack of caring goes into, you know, I mean, they were just trying to make a buck, you know, they're just trying to make a buck and they, I mean, this thing was, look at this mess. I mean, that was just supposed to I mean, the, these washers were like, uh, it, it was, uh, I've never seen anything quite as bad. It was pretty bad. These buttons are the long shaft buttons. They're for, uh, you know, wooden panels. And uh, so all, all, every single button in here is wrong. So buttons are okay. They're dirty. We can probably use them somewhere somewhere down the road, but no, no. And these switches, no. We're gonna have to redo this whole thing. We're gonna have to, I like to salvage as much as the original stuff as I can. Uh, but this one, no, no, where it's, it's just, it's not going to work. So, but there it is all stripped down and, uh, we're going to get it all back, uh, in one piece and we'll get the hardware for it and, uh, we'll put it all back together and we'll wire it up and, uh, it's going to be awesome. But, uh. It's, it's good to take good uh, stock of it right here, people, because this is uh, this is painful right here to see stuff like this. You know, it's uh, you know a lot of people would just throw this thing in the trash, but uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to fix it. We're going to save it. We can fix it. So there it is. I'm just, I mean, I, I, I'm kind of just amazed. I just keep looking at it and I'm <laughs> God, what a mess. I do like these games though that have the, uh, you know, the, I've got uh, some potato cabinets that have that and my uh, Quicks and the Jungle King have that. I, I like those buttons on the front, that's pretty cool. And uh, I really like, this deal here we'll just, for removing the control panel that's that's very well thought out I like that that's that's unique that's unique to this uh, this cabinet so all right well there it is I'm not gonna dwell on it anymore it is what it is it's a mess do 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 I might have said a cuss word here possibly it is but yeah Okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll work through it later. So there's a few different schools of thought on this. 
my particular school of thought, if you're gonna do it, do it once, do it right. Now, as we just got done looking at, that control panel uh, is pretty much a total loss, uh, component-wise. Um, so if we're gonna go and replace every part on there with uh, something that's really premium, We've got some uh, one player button, two player button. Now they make those in black and in white both. Now I just thought it'd be cool to put black ones on there. Now these arcade prime buttons right here, you can get those with a micro switch uh, or you can actually get them with a micro leaf, uh, an actual leaf switch hooks onto the bottom of those. So we've got two blue ones, two red ones. For the primary fire button, we're gonna use a actual leaf switch. Um, for the bomb button, which doesn't, you know, get used nearly as much and it doesn't need the real super fast actuation, uh, we're going to use just a regular, uh, micro switch. There's no reason why not to. Now, we've talked about this before. These are the Dominix 8, uh, joysticks. Now, just to put it into perspective, I paid $50 for that entire machine. Just, uh, one of those joysticks... It's $58.90. Of course, we need two of them. You know, there's some different options you can get when you order these. Like you can see, restrictor plate, short throw, circular. You can get it with no restrictor plate, you know, which saves you like three bucks. Um, the short throw plate just makes it so that the joystick doesn't move as far. So, I mean, it's a little quicker. Um, I like them like that. And then there's a few options there too. You can actually even get it in a four-way option. You can get it uh, long shaft, short shaft, depending on the thickness of your panel. Uh, and you can change it yourself too. It's the same stick. It's just the way that uh, it's put together. Uh, it's a really cool design. And you can get the standard uh, economy uh, red uh, ball top, which is totally fine. Or they've got the, uh, what they call the hand candy ball tops in any color or shape or size. Well, not so much size, but any color that you want. Um, they have no seams in them. So, uh, you know, those are pretty creamy. So anyway, uh, so just to uh, fix the control panel with just the components, I mean, we're not talking about a control panel overlay or any of the metal work we need to do on it. That uh, is what it's going to cost. And uh, could we do it on the cheap? Yeah, we could do it on the cheap. We could put some micro switch joystick crap in there and, and uh, you know, it would work uh, and it would suck because, uh, you know, those joysticks would click and it just, it's, 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 not, it's not the way it's supposed to be. So again, that's just, you know, my school of thought on it. Um, you know, I, the, 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 the control panel is where you interface with the game. I mean, that's your, your, your point of, you know, contact with the game. Man, it needs to be nice. It needs to look good. It needs to feel good. You know, if it's distracting, uh, I don't know. It's, again, now that's just, that's just me. So, uh, you know, some other people would approach this uh, maybe a little differently. But uh, not this Cub Scout. Uh, go big or stay at the house. That's how uh, we roll at the Puzzle Arcade. And by the way, I've mentioned this before, groovy game gear people. Um, these people aren't playing out here. They're, he's in New York. He's not playing. He's serious. He's got some uh, high quality stuff and he knows what he's doing. Um, it ain't the cheapest stuff out there. Um, but uh, it's super deluxe. So, you know, again, if you're serious about this and you want to do it right, um, this is one place you can go that uh, you can get the hookup. So, and uh, this bad man pajama right here, um, I've said it before, I'll say it again. The Dominic okay, Eight, yeah, police radio. Um, 
that is, uh, I, it's the best joystick money can buy. And, uh, you know, you can debate that, but, uh, you know, if you want a leaf switch and you want it to be, uh, like an original one was back in the day, I'm talking about, you know, the eighties here, uh, that's it. Um, and it's built super good. Uh, it's, uh, it's top of the line stuff. And, uh, you know, a Wicco is around 40 bucks before you ship it. You know, the new, the new style Wicco. Um, yeah, I've got some. I'm telling you people, that's worth the extra money. So there it is. Um, this is part of it right here. Goofing off and, uh, you know, planning it out and, uh, you know, spending a bunch of money to, make things super deluxe again. So, there it is. Until next time. Later. So, here is a way. <clears throat> Maybe not the best way. Certainly not the only way. But this is a way <clears throat> to handle these holes that you have in your control panel that you don't want. Here's the finished result from the patchwork. All right, so here's the deal. That's what it is right there. And there's a fresh pack of them. It's a few bucks at Walmart or Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever, okay? Pretty tough stuff. So you just take a piece of tape I used that right there, just plain old painter's tape, but whatever. Um, duct tape would work too. Uh, I didn't have any, so. And you just tape up the actual hole. Come in here from the other side and fill it in. Kind of an overnight deal. It takes a while for it to harden, uh, but once it hardens, it's as hard as a rock, you know. Um, you know, sand the steel down so you get all the oxidation any corrosion so it's got some good fresh steel to stick to and uh then on the back side here um sometimes that might get in the way a little bit uh you can actually sand this down too you can get the uh grinder out or the uh sander and you can actually sand some of this down which we're, get, we're gonna have to do over here because this is where one of the joysticks goes right here uh, the other joystick goes right here Two, two buttons, the bomb and fire button there, bomb and fire button there. So, joystick, bomb fire, joystick number two, bomb fire. So of course now when the control panel overlay is over this, you're never gonna know. Everything's gonna look 100% legit. And it will be 100% legit. Now, the only way that might be better, if we could weld those holes up, weld a little piece of steel in there and grind it all. Um, you know, I don't have a welder here, so this is kind of an option right here. Um, there's other ways, too, that I've done on other machines, too. But this is this is a way that uh, is pretty simple and pretty, you know, it, it works. So I did a little sanding on that. That's why that's discolored there, but... So there you go. That's uh, some control panel action for the Twin Cobras game at the Fussell Arcade. We got a lot more sanding to do. We can get this thing all cleaned up. We'll slap a cone of paint on it. We'll get a control panel overlay for it. New joysticks, new buttons, and uh, we will have a brand new control panel, and it will be beautiful. So, my feeling on the control panel, you know, if you're going to spend a little extra, do it on the control panel. You know, you can you can go with some translite marquees and, you know, all this kind of stuff and, you know, save a little money here and there. But on the control panel, this is where you interface with the game. This is your main interaction. You're touching this, you know, it's tactile. Um, it needs to be badass, you know, it needs to be right, so... 
you know, if you're going to do it, um, you know, spend the money on the control panel. Get the get the good components. Get good good parts. Good good buttons. Good joysticks. Uh, and when we get to that, uh, I haven't actually even ordered the joysticks for this yet. Um, you know, we're looking at uh, literally to do this right. We're looking at a couple hundred bucks to uh, you know with the overlay and the joysticks and the buttons. It'll be right around the two hundred dollar figure to really uh, to do that. So. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll show you when we get to that. Uh, but we're taking our time here. We got a lot of other projects going right now, too. So, anyway, so there it is. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you learned something, great. If you didn't, well, you know, if you're still watching, then, you know, you at least found it entertaining. <laughs> something else to think about at the Puzzle Arcade. So, have a wonderful evening.